Here's an example where we have some variables with exponents divided by some other variables with exponents. The answer in this particular case is y to the 6th times z to the 5th all divided by x cubed. And I'll explain how, how I got that. Here's the concept. If I have one variable raised to a power, let's say a to the 5th, divided by another variable raised to the power, a squared, the rule is I take the top exponent and subtract the bottom. So 5 minus 2 is 3. This would equal a cubed. This works as long as the bases are the same, a to the fifth over a squared. They're both a. You can see why this has to be true if you expand this. This is a to the fifth, which is a times a times a times a times a. Five a's multiplied together, divided by a squared, which is a times a. And so you can see that, that two of these a's up top cancel out the two down below leaving us with just a times a times a. And so if you, if you recognize that these two a's down here are these right here, then those completely go away, and two of those five are gone, leaving us with three. The quick way to get this is just to do five minus two, and you get the three right there. So let's apply that concept back here in our original problem. I want to look at the y's first. You see a y to the 8th up top and then a y squared down below. And the 8 minus 2 gives me a 6. So we have the y to the 6th. Let's look at the z's. z to the power of 3 and z to the power of negative 2 right there. So again, the same rule applies even if this exponent right here is negative. I have z to the power of this minus that, 3 minus negative 2. And 3 minus negative 2 is the same as 3 plus 2, which is 5. So when I take this 3 and subtract the negative 2, I get my new exponent right here, which is 5. So I have a z to the fifth. Now the x is here. I have an x squared divided by x to the fifth. So I have to think 2 minus 5, and that gives me a negative 3. So I have an x to the negative 3. And what you need to realize is that that is the same as 1 over x to the positive 3. Having a negative exponent is the same as having that same exponent as positive in the denominator. So when I do my subtraction here, 2 minus 5, and get an x to the negative 3, that's the same as having this x to the positive 3 down there in the denominator. So that's how I got this final answer, y to the 6 times z to the 5 over x to the 3.